Kuwa
Ladies and gentlemen, resurrection has got one. And that power, that's where we born again operate. We walk in the anointing which does not have a religion. We walk in the anointing which is not a religion. The hope, the living hope of every born again is within the resurrection of Christ. If all were done and Jesus dies and he did not resurrect we wouldn't have any other hope. We have a living hope because the Lord Jesus resurrected. He's not there in the grave. He came out to even He's ready to give life to everyone who lives in him. Ready to resurrect every day. Ready to bring back the lost hope. Because the climax of fear is death. The climax of fear is death of every trouble is dead. But Jesus overcame the death. Amen. The Bible says that they, they did not find that a stone. And other gospels say that Jesus, that the angel of the Lord removed the stone and sat on it. And another, and another one says that a great storm came and rolled away the, the, the storm. All that is resurrection. Revelation and and is very wide, and his resurrection is very wide. However much Satan digs in soil on you, I want you to believe that there is power in the resurrection. This this morning I declare unto you Malaike, yaka, naja, we, jinja, the angel who descended who uh, descended and removed the stone ake, aje, we, jinja, that he may descend and remove Eriva the stone that had captured you that had hindered your family that had hindered your destiny Ali that he may roll it away Ali that he may sit on it Mukama, Amen there are some kind of situation that you look for and you will not find it. You will seek for the death and you will see it no more. You will seek for the sickness and you will not see it anymore. Because the hand of the Lord is upon you. You know one of the things that may make you overcome are not many. It is knowing and to discover that Christ Jesus is with you. The Bible says that when David discovered that everything and God was with him. That is the mystery that made him Goliath. Goliath was the one who was with him. 
nga alina na mkwatire nga boye ajamu yona makuru nga tewali wo inza muita the bible says that Goliath was an international warrior giant who could fight nations and they could hire him to fight other nations and he had na, his shield to, that covered him na ye chama cha Daudi chali that the mystery of David was size it wasn't his size it wasn't his job katonda alina ange he discovered that God was with him. It was enough for him to confront and attack Goliath. The way he came, he came so amazingly that he picked only five small stones. And he, was, he put them in his... He just put one. And Goliath told him, you come, you come to me as if I'm a dog with the stones. Come, I will give your body to the birds of the space. <laughs> Do you see how we scared him? He said, You can also imagine how birds are eat, how the vultures are eating. And <laughs> I am coming to you in the name of the living God who you are challenging. Do you know that the person challenging you is challenging the real God? Can you really get a small stone and you hit a tank of for, for, for the but when God is with you you can get a small egg an egg an egg and you hit it on the tank and then you never look up and then it bursts that is God so David comes as an egg Eritanka. Onto the armed tank. Mukama heba ziwe. Amen. Nakone kaja ye bigambo stani wa kulete rangi bigambo zanga yoto siri kanga busiris. So when Satan brings what is it to you, you don't keep back. Mukaga mbalerongo nda kuta, mukuteme ko mutwe era bichari. And he said it to them, going to kill you and cut off your head. And indeed it was. If you are to experience this power of resurrection, learn to confess positively. Jesus confessed it positively. After putting everything, they are going to torture me. I'm going to be delivered. It is a man. But the third day, I will resurrect. And the angel told them, He's not here. He's resurrected. Just as he told you. So, what do you say? What do you speak? What do you speak about yourself? They you will always be a product of your words. The words you confess, the words you utter, will always be confirmed to you. Amen. What are you speaking? And they said, Why are you seeking the living into the dead? I speak unto you. It's time to come, they look for you when you are no longer there. They seek you in the city when you are not there. They seek you into the different when you are not there. They seek you from those who are not when you are not there. Why? You have a living God. Amen. You know there is someone who always seeks you and always he has to find you there. And when he finds you there he asks you oh you are lost. So where do you sleep nowadays? 
Are you told that you are only to sleep on other rentals, other people's rentals? You are leaving people seeking you in the Time is coming, you will have by yourself. You will open and enter by yourself. Amen. It is just a mere time. Give it a limited time. Satan thought that he had conquered Jesus Christ. But he was just starting the mission. The Bible teaches that he descended into the grave. Matthew 27, 52. The Bible teaches that all tombs were opened. That the saints who were dead who had fallen and came up. <laughs> yes, Jesus did not resurrect alone. He had a lot of Amen. He fell always. And they again put onto it onto him. him. He who used it to move with it. But you know why I was carrying it too? They called it a Golgotha. To die on it. Amen. The cross was very heavy. There is a certain man known as Joseph of El Matha. Came and helped him a little bit. But the Bible says that he was his disciple, second disciple. And he carried it. It defeated him and they returned. Yes, and Jesus took it and took it and, until Calvary at Calvary and he died unto it. Are doing that? He was taking all our sorrows. He was taking all the curses. You don't have, you don't have any curse. You have a blessing that flows. The Bible teaches us and says that cursed is a man who is crucified at the cross. So through carrying the cross Jesus, Jesus was carrying the curses, the sicknesses and every calamity and he was taking it Blessed be the good Lord he paid the date We were supposed to die the Bible teaches that the reward to sin is death. But the gift of Jesus and God is, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. If the reward of sin is death, so Jesus Christ has to die that he may pay for the wage of sin. Yet he took our family. He paid for the date. Brethren were purchased by the precious blood. There is no reason for you to worry. What you are crying for, they are very small according to the blood which you purchased. You will reach them. You are just on increment. You are, you are a child of God. You are the forgiven one.